Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. An 11-year-old schoolgirl from Manchester has been hospitalized after she was raped and assaulted by two teenage boys yesterday afternoon while on her way home from school. The police have reportedly arrested one of the boys and the hunt is on for the second. The People's National Party has joined the call for the raw scores from the primary exit profile, PEP, to be revealed similar to what existed with the Grade 6 Achievement Test. Opposition spokesperson on education Ronnie Thwaites says the publication of the percentage scores would help to show the effectiveness of the new test. The Jamaican government is now engaged in talks with U.S. Embassy officials to probe whether Washington adhered to maritime protocol in the wake of a lawsuit filed by four Jamaican fishermen. The fishermen claim to have endured inhumane conditions while detained on a U.S. Coast Guard vessel for 32 days in 2017. The Transport Authority is threatening to prosecute public passenger vehicle operators who are overcharging passengers. The transport regulator is also warning the operators to desist from the practice. In sports, General Manager of Independence Park Limited Major Desmond Brown says patrons attending major events at the National Stadium should use designated parking areas to prevent their vehicles being broken into or stolen. The stadium police report that three cars were stolen and two others broken into during Monday evening's CONCACAF match between Jamaica and Honduras. In year currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $130.37, the British pound sterling for $163.96, and the Canadian dollar for $97.96. In year weather forecast, Thursday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect particle skies and windy conditions. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.